Hello everyone and welcome to this course on NVIDIA Jetson. This year I am super excited to start this course. In this course we will learn how we can deploy different applications of computer vision and machine learning on Jetson and we will also see how effective it is for AI applications. Without wasting your time, let's get started. Before getting into it, let's talk about what is Jetson. Basically, Jetson is a small and a low-powered computer that is designed by NVIDIA specially for the purpose of AI applications. Although it is a low-ball module, it is still powerful enough to run different machine learning models that include image classification, object detection, segmentation, etc. We'll be discussing some of them in detail in the later lectures. Just like a normal computer, it contains the main memory along with the CPU. Here we also have a GPU that makes it powerful enough to execute the machine learning models. For the purpose of backup, we have an SD card here that can be used as an external memory to store permanent data. So these are the major components of a Jetson module. Let's talk about different parts of the Jetson and how to use them. The first one is the SD card slot, present at the back side of the Jetson below the heatsink, where we can put the micro SD card and use it as a permanent storage. Here we have a 40 pin expansion header that allows us to connect our Jetson with some external module like Raspberry Pi. There are two power options available in the Jetson. The first one is a micro USB port here, and the other one is a barrel jack, here. The micro USB port available here can only provide a maximum power of 10 watts, which is enough to operate the Jetson normally. However, it is not sufficient for the heavy execution of machine or deep learning models. For that purpose, we have to supply power to the barrel jack here, which can provide up to 20 watts of power. With that much power, the Jetson is capable of dealing heavy executions and gives better performance. We also have an Ethernet port available here, which allows us to connect our Jetson with the internet. However, there is no built-in Wi-Fi module available, but the good news is that there is a place available somewhere here below the heatsink to attach an external Wi-Fi. You can also use any Wi-Fi dongle that can be connected to the USB port. To connect any external peripherals like a keyboard, mouse, flash drive, or a Wi-Fi dongle, there are several USB ports available here. It varies from two to four depending on which Jetson device we are using. The one we are using has a total of four USB ports. So you can connect four peripherals at the same time. In order to display the contents of the Jetson, we have two HDMI ports available here for the purpose of display. We can use either of them to display the contents of the Jetson. There is an onboard TSI camera port available here to connect a camera. The Jetson we are using has a total of two CSI ports available. You can connect two cameras at the same time. We can also connect a webcam through any of the USB ports here. So that was a quick overview of the different parts of the Jetson and how to use them. Let's move on to the next part where we can discuss about the contents and overview of this course. The course is mainly divided into three parts, the starter part, pro, and deploy and applications. In the first part of this course, we will set up our Jetson and we'll also discuss about some basics of computer vision and artificial intelligence. In the very first part of the first module, we'll discuss why we use the Jetson and how it is better than Raspberry Pi. We will also install the image of the operating system on the SD card to run it on the Jetson. Next, we will install the essential libraries including OpenCV, PyTorch, Torch Vision, etc., along with the other supporting libraries that will be used throughout this course. After setting up our Jetson, we'll try some basics of computer vision using OpenCV, and we'll also try some basic functions of PyTorch library. After that, we will move to the most interesting part of this module, which is the object detection and its importance in computer vision, and how we can do it using our own custom dataset. In this part, we will be focusing on YOLO object detection. In the next part of the course, we will discuss two main things that include optimization of machine learning models using TensorRT and also a few details regarding DeepStream. We will start with a brief discussion about TensorRT and how we can use it to optimize a machine learning model. Then we will move on to the next part of this module, which is about DeepStream. We will see how we can use DeepStream SDK on the Jetson and we will try the synchronization of multiple cameras using DeepStream. In the last part of this course, we will deploy different real-world AI applications on the Jetson. For example, number plate recognition, pose estimation, and attendance systems using face recognition. We will start with a discussion about different AI applications and their deployment on the Jetson. For example, machine security, etc. 
The next interesting part of this module is to learn how to annotate a data setup on object detection. Particularly, we will annotate number plate data sets and train our custom model for the number plate detection, and we'll try this model on the Jetson. Then we will move on to another interesting application of computer vision, that is the human pose estimation. We will use PoseNet library for that purpose on the Jetson. In the last part of this module, we will set up our Jetson for the real-time attendance system using face recognition. That was all about the overview of this course. I hope you people enjoyed the very first lecture. We'll meet in the next tutorial where we will set up our Jetson and try it for the first time. Cool, so if you're ready to get started, what you need to do is scroll down and you see that link over there? Yeah, yep, yep that one. Click over there. It'll take you to a page where you can sign up to get a free preview of the course, tap in your name and email, and you can start learning for free. Otherwise, if you're ready for the comprehensive course, we are running a special pre-launch campaign where you'll be able to pre-order Jetson Pro now at early bird prices. You'll also find the hardware requirements there on the enrollment page. Don't waste time, don't let your competition learn this before you do. Enroll now if you're ready to learn the Jetson Pro course. Links are all down below and we'll see you inside the course.